more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. All right, y'all, we're going to skip the particulars today. Your boy Angry Murph is here, right? Angry Jersey Murph in the building. There's a narrative going on out here about my man, the Kobe Dean. Some people out there are saying that he got benched. Like, he got torched so bad in pass coverage that he was benched. <laughs> this shit is laughable, right? So I'm going to go through this all 22 here, and this is not going to be anything, like, Edited. I'm just going to go through every play here, and we'll look at the results of the play, the personnel, and what they should do differently, or what they could have done differently, and what they should do differently on how to combat some of these things. First and foremost, we have to get something established. There's rarely, or if anyone in the NFL who plays off-ball linebacker who can cover inside receivers at the very least you may get some maybe like a i don't know maybe a fred warner or somebody like that who can who can get it done on tight ends but even that won't be consistent depending on the tight end you think he gonna do something on travis kelsey no that's what defensive backs are for right so if you can get a, a linebacker matched up on an inside receiver especially one of those shiftier quicker inside receivers it's money <laughs> it's absolute money. That's what Eric B. Enemy and those guys specialized in, right? They can do that uh, because they have those type of receivers. But it wasn't just N'Kobe Dean. Everyone was torched in this game. Did you not watch the game? There is no one with any redeeming film on this particular game, right? In this particular game here. No one wants to say the name Sidney Brown, right? Because he's a darling. Sidney Brown was getting... His ass bent in, right? He was community pussy. Straight up. Anytime they targeted him, it was money, right? But it's not like he plays all the time. So when he was playing that, same deal with James Bradbury. Same deal with Darius Slay. These are all pro cornerbacks or pro bowlers at the very least, right? Same deal with Reed Blankenship. Everyone had a bad game. Zach Cunningham gave us some catches as well. I mean, I could go through this entire thing, right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm petty like that, right? I'm Petty Murphy, so I, I'll do that too. But if we're just talking about trying to single out one person, it makes zero sense. And it's usually derived from somebody saying something. So people keep coming here name dropping the same cat. I knew it had to come from somewhere. And this cat that I already had said before had an axe to grind. He's calling him Shrimpy Dean and all this and that. You think he's going to fall off that narrative when you go that far with it? Of course not. So he's going to magnify some shit. People are going to hear this guy say that. Then they're going to follow suit. But let's, let's, let's look at this right here. So this is on my thing right here. It says 4853. So I got this pulled up right here. And... We're going to go to him to start. This is the final drive before he got benched. Never mind that he was already rotating in the entire game with Nicholas Morrow. He's clearly on a pitch count coming back from injury. They're trying not to get him re-injured. This drive is extremely long, for, first and foremost. They keep converting, so you're going to have to sit him. He played too many snaps if you're trying to keep him on a pitch count. But look at the first one right here. So this is the first play of this drive. Right? Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Just so you can see them. They're coming out of, coming out of um kickoff right here. First play of this drive. Let's ID this. I don't like this right here. Right? I mentioned it before. You're running with your base defensive set here, right? Your three, four set on the line of scrimmage, but you don't have linebackers in the game. You know what I'm saying? Or I mean, but you 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 still got a line. There's no Eli Ricks in this game. This almost doesn't make sense to me, right? You're essentially making Sidney Brown, well, it's not bad, right? You, you're making Sidney Brown kind of a pseudo linebacker, and you put him across from a receiver, which he cannot guard. Not his game. Tried to tell people that before, not his game or whatever like that, but we'll roll the first play. Unedited. What's the first play? Oh, it's N'Kobe Dean making a tackle. But he sucks, Cletus. He sucks. He can't do nothing out there, Cletus. He's shrimpy. And look at that. Making a play, right? So that's play one. Play one. The Kobe Dean makes the play. Here's play two. Let's let's pause it right here. Right? What do we have? So 
Uh, not the same set. You can see they've taken someone off the line of scrimmage here, so that will indicate that they brought in a DB somewhere. And, uh, or, yeah, they took somebody off. It looks like they brought in a linebacker, actually. It looks like they brought in, yep, they brought in Cunningham. So you got Cunningham, Dean, Brown. You have your normal cornerbacks over here and your normal safeties out here at Def Byard and Reed Blankenship. So let's see what this play is. It's a nothing. Actually, D ends up getting on that play too. It's a nothing play. They took it away. Let's go back, right? We're not going to focus on this, this portion. That's my favorite angle to look at football from, but we'll look at it from this right here. S zone drops, right? Somebody tried to say that he was in a man coverage on one, and you'll know when someone's in man coverage, they'll stand flat-footed, right? So you see him trying to take away this potential mesh here. He's staying home in his zone there. Every, everything's covered. Notice this, what you have right here. You have the flat covered. You have this middle, right, hook curl. right? You got the hook curl covered. You got this middle depth covered. Sidney Brown out here mirroring what's going on out here. That's how you build that wall right there, right? That's kind of all you want to build. That's the wall you're building right there. And then look, nothing. He can't. He has nowhere to go with this. Did Dean do bad on that play? Was Dean doing? Look at Dean's the one who's telling people what to do. Look at that. They are just now getting it after Dean told them what to do. He took away the mess right there and stayed and dropped there. Sam Howell couldn't do nothing but vacate the premises. Unedited. All right. Now we see right here. This could be trouble on these bunch sets. Three by one here. Let's see what they got. One, two. All right. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I'm trying to find out. Maybe that's Haas or somebody like that. I'll have to see when they're coming back. But you can see right here, I did, this could be trouble right here with a bunch set. And it looks like it's 11 personnel out of a bunch set right there. So this is definitely man coverage on this particular one right here. There's no eyes to the quarterback on this one. Straight man coverage here is Dean picked on on this one. Uh, no. Dean is not picked on on this one. That is not Dean's man. You know what happened on this one right here? Bunch coverage. Instead of banjoing, they're trying to run across. Look at Slay has to take his man, which is Jahan Dawson, and tries to guard him by going back around. This would have happened right here. It should have been, if this is Byatt or Eli Ricks, if this is Eli Ricks, he stays home and gets anyone who stays in his zone. Instead, he stays on his original assignment. He should have went with Dotson. Slay stays here and goes with this man who was originally Eli Ricks' man. So that puts that right there because, listen, yeah, because they're in man coverage, so obviously Dean has to worry about this particular player, the running back there. So not on Dean. They're killing the middle of the field, but guess what? If you have an ax to grind and you see Dean make the tackle, you go on be like, why well, is on Dean? I can say it's on Dean because nobody else is going to actually go do the work and see what the fuck is going on there. Clearly not on Dean. They're in man coverage. That was on Slay. Look at it from this side right here. Right? So that is how I see. Look, your boy, your boy on this J.O. Look at that. You see Dean creeping right? Because if Antonio gets some leaks out right here, if this particular one is his responsibility right there. Right? You see he stayed flat-footed. He stayed flat-footed coming out. That's man coverage. But then look, he's the one who has a double back and bang. Like I said before in the other one, no running on the hall monitor right there. But that's definitely not on him. That's on that scheme. I can't even put it on Slay. But I could put the communication on them, right? They could have maybe communicated and banjoed that shit themselves and make sure that they played man coverage but with zone principles. All right, so here we go. Now, this is bad. You get a three-by-one set here, right? First, they start out on empty. So they want to isolate a linebacker. Why would you need to run 11 personnel with two linebackers? I see Cunningham here, and I see Dean here. Terrible. That's on Sean Desai. Yeah, right? Why would you need two linebackers in this set? One linebacker should suffice, right? You could have put Eli Ricks in the game here, had Eli Ricks and Brown here, and, and this is a little bit better. So instead of Dean being in coverage, you get Eli Ricks in coverage here on a tight slot with a two-way go. And what do I mean by a two-way go? 
Meaning you have someone who's undoubtedly quicker than any linebacker, Jameson Crowder here, and he has an infinite amount of space to work with. A two-way go, meaning, right, once they get into that even exchange situation, he can dice you to the inside, he can douse you outside, he can break down in space right here, hit it, and then make you break down in space. That's a tough road to hoe if you're a linebacker, right? Take it from me. <laughs> That's a tough road to hoe right there, man. I don't know what to tell you, but we'll look at this right here. This is black bad game planning. You see the man coverage right here. Cunningham on the linebacker. Sam Howell identifies it. You know where he's going to go with that. And they blitz. <laughs> what are we doing here? Come on. They tripping with that one, right? They blitz. There's a whole bunch of ways they could have. If you blitz right here and Sam Howell was able to see a replace, what does that mean as well? Obviously, that means he could have come right here with it, right? You get those double ends right here. He could have went any places, any place with that, right? Because they sent Sidney Brown as well. So... I uh, don't know what to tell you there, Cletus. I really just don't know what to tell you. But as we see here, the results are the results. Byer was off. He would have gotten beaten as well from the scheme. But, yes, N'Kobe Dean did give up that particular catch right there to Jamison Dan Crowder with a two-way go. That's man coverage right there. So he's in man coverage right here. You can see him step out. Can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. If that's what you mad about him or you mad over, then shit, you don't know football. Because nobody else in the NFL is doing that. And these dudes are torching your actual DBs. Now look at this play right here. Inconsequential. Shit to do with Dean. It was a run. A run play right here. You got Dean and Cunningham still in the game. Right? Nothing. Antonio Gibson getting to the outside there. All right, what we have here. Man coverage, you see Sidney Brown traveling with Jamison Crowder. That's a better matchup, but he can't do that either. Look at that, and they hitch it up. Oh, and look who makes the tackle. It was Zach Cunningham. <laughs> I'm all out of sorts right there. Zach Cunningham makes the tackle on this one right here, but look, they hitch it up right here on his screen. Dean has nothing to do with this. Did Dean give up that play? Oh, he's getting torched, Cletus. This is a terrible drive. He is getting absolutely torched. Now, look at Dean, right? He's bluffing a blitz, and he was blitzing. Oh, it was a QB sneak, right? Damn, I'm off. I need to identify. I don't think that was actually Dean. Was he bluffing? It's Dean. Yeah, he was bluffing. He's bluffing. Look at his. Look at that. He's a smart kid, man. You saw that multi-gap approach right there? All right, so here we go right now. Now, look, here's the responsibility on this one right here. Read Blankenship. Go back to it right here. So, this obviously is not on no damn Dean, right? Where's Dean at on this play? ID, here's Dean. I think they sent him again. Let's see. Yep, I could tell by the way he was leaning that he was going to be sent on this one. Look what he does. Bang! Once again, a meeting of the minds with Antonio Gibson. So, this is man coverage. When you start sending people, that means you leave other people on islands. So, with the tight end right here, yep, with the with the tight end, I want to say that's, that might be Logan Thomas or Bates. Looks like it's Bates. Bates, ooh, Bates with a nasty corner route, and he took Reed Blankenship. Is that on Dean? This is this drive, right? This is his final job before he was benched. He sent, and bang, look at the physicality. That was on Brian Robinson that time. Go back to that. Yep, that's one Brian Robinson's sticking up there. So that's that. Oh, we've seen that before in, when they were in college with Georgia, Alabama there. That match up there. Not on Dean. He's doing so terrible this drive, man. I want all you people who said that shit to slap yourselves. What about this one right here? Definitely not on Dean. Look, it's on Sidney Brown. I don't want to disparage Sidney Brown because I don't think that's his game. But if you're going to get on Dean, you should get on Sidney Brown. This was a touchdown. This is just on Sam Howell not throwing it correctly. But he was beaten on that play. So I don't want to hear shit. I think some people, when they think that if, if, if it's not an incompletion, then you did your job. I mean, if it's an incomplete, you did your job. He didn't do his job. He was beaten on that play soundly. All right, here we go again. Oh, what does this do? 
You saw they got you, you. Do you know you see what you're seeing here, right? You're giving them yards. They got the QB snake. They converted. This is a long drive. Dean is on a pitch count. You're not going to play him if he, you've got these long ass drives because you're alternating him. Who's that? Sweat. Yep. You're alternating him with Morrow. Was that on Dean? <laughs> that was on Dean too, Cletus. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to just say it's on Dean. Throw to the outside. Is that on Dean? Read Blankenship again. To Antonio, let's throw to the back. Antonio Gibson. Dean don't have shit to do with it. Here's Dean. Look at him. Playing that zone right there. He took away that middle portion. Sam Howell had to go out. Actually, if you look at this, the job he's doing, he's doing a damn good job taking away shit with his zone drops. What about this one? Is it going to the middle of the field? No inconsequential. You know why? Dean was in perfect position. Is 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 your boy Shrimpy Dean a dude who says that shit? Who y'all want to come name drop on my channel? Don't talk about nobody on my damn channel. Don't mention nobody in the business on my channel no more. The fuck out of here with that. I'm tired of you dudes doing that shit, man. Not everybody in this business is... I don't want to be associated with these people, man. I don't know these people. I don't know what their agenda is. So I don't want people to be promoting people on my dime. Nah, look at this. Look at Dean drop right here. Watch, this is a perfect drop. He read this shit perfectly. Sam Howell was going to come back to this right here. He couldn't do nothing. He took it away. Look, originally, Sam Howell was looking over there. Look at Dean drop, right? See, Dean, he's going to drop right in that sight line right there. It's done. Because look what was coming open right here. Dean is right there. You can't throw that. He would have picked it off. So Sam Howell, looking back, he could have th thrown it right here. Right? But Dean would have closed on that too. So that's what you want, right? You want to be moving forward. If they catch a pass, you want to leave them where they stay. Or leave them where they stand. You don't want something to go over your head. Now look at that. He took away that shit right there and they would have just made the tackle on Jahan Dyson if necessary. Is that on Dean? Yeah, that is on Dean because he did a damn good job there if you want to put it on him. Won't you say something about that? A run. Nope. Who's that? Contavious Street. Thank you for your service on this play. You gone. <laughs> you gone to the Falcons. Here we go right here. Nothing. Got nothing to do with Dean right here. Oh, it's such a bad job by Dean on this drive. They, ha they have to bench him. People saw one catch. Is this on Dean? Nope. Fletcher Cox batting it down. Here's Dean. Fletcher Cox. Oh! See, this is what people see. This is what separates me from the game. I'm watching shit, and people are just watching with emotion. I'm watching with a technical eye. What was about to happen right here? Look who shot this. Look, just pay attention what, blush, what, what flashes in your screen if Fletcher Cox does not bat this down. Who's there right there jumping that shit? But is anybody going to say anything about that? No. They're going to run with some narrative because some dude has an axe to grind, and they're not going to say anything about some shit that's real. Matter of fact, I want to see that again. Let me see that from this way. Totally jumps this route right here, right? Damn near baited him into it. Did you not see it? That's what I'm saying. This is what happens sometimes. They're coming up out of that right there. Somebody's actually beaten right here. But look at them. With that zone drop, this is how you play it, right? What's that? That's that middle hook or, or, or a middle, yeah, middle hook right there. Look at that. He would have he would have jumped it. He knew it, too. He knew it. All right. Where we at right here? Definitely not on Dean. Read Blankenship again. What did Dean do wrong on his drive? He gave up one catch. You have several other people give up multiple catches. But Dean struggled here. Look at Dean. He's making sure that, you know what he's making sure of? That Sam Howell does not take off again. You see him decrease the space right there. They're running those games up front. Cunningham right here. Let's see what Cunningham's doing. Cunningham's probably, yeah, Cunningham's... On the, on the running back this time. He's making sure that Sam Howell does not 
take off right here. He's expecting everyone else to do their job. And nope, Reed Blankenship is beat. So is that something to bench someone over? <laughs> like, I don't understand, right? Listen, they have to be careful with this dude. Did you not see that he missed a significant portion of the season to start this year? Right? You got to bring this cat back slow. So as, as, as good as he could be performing or good or whatever you deem that, he's still going to be on a pitch count. Right. They, they're not fans. The coaching staff and the training staff are not fans. They know they need this guy for the long haul, right? So making sure that he doesn't go through long back-to-back -back long drives and all that shit, this shit is – come on, man. Let's be real here. So we know what it is, man. People just have an agenda, and, and they didn't want Dean to start with. So when you don't like something to start with, you're going to run with a narrative by all – by any means necessary, right? So – he was benched for that drive there. The where, if you ask me, <laughs> right, what 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 went down there? Who made plays on that drive? Right, the man had several tackles on that drive there. Dropped in the zone, took away shit. Right, people don't look at that type of shit. He dropped in the zone, took away plays. He had one play that he gave up, uh, what maybe like ten yards on an inside slot receiver. A uh, receiver. Somebody running from the tight slot who's Jamison Crowder. Jamison Crowder at the end of the game torched everyone. He had a touchdown and got your man James Bradbury right on that. And got he got um I think maybe Blankenship again, like on the side. Listen, come on, man. You can't expect your linebacker to guard Jamison Crowder. So that's what you mad over. Anyway, man. So listen, keep it locked right here, man. We'll keep giving you the real. These haters out here, man. They don't understand. They want somebody going, so they'll do that by any means necessary right there. I'm not by any means saying uh, N'Kobe Dean is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm just going by what I see. If you think N'Kobe Dean can't play football, you're a football moron. Straight up, he can play football. Is he the best in coverage? No, but neither are any of these other guys. You better go out and get yourself a coverage linebacker because those guys aren't it. Cunningham is not it. Morrow is not it. None of those guys can cover. Most of the – I cover several other teams, and their fans complain about their linebackers can't cover either. Is your man better than Bobby Wagner for the Seattle Seahawks? Hell no. Bobby Wagner's going to the Hall of Fame. He ain't covering no slot receiver. I see him getting smoked up and down the field when they try to do that as well. But they do a great job over in Seattle, at least this season, right, where Sean Desai came from of making sure they run more big dime packages and getting these linebackers out of coverage to where they can just focus on the running back, focus on the flat, focus on shallow zone drops, most shit like that. They definitely don't want them in man coverage on tight slot receivers, so they got to adjust that. But other than that, man, come on, man. People just think he's too small and they're going to run with that. So he's the same size as Nicholas Morrow, too. So I'm going to make it make sense. He's the same size as Nicholas Morrow, but he's too small. Pause. All right. What's your boy Jersey Murph though, man? Just letting these haters know. All right, let me know what you think. All right. Mm.